Football Manager 2022 is officially out and that means the in-game editor is now available. I'm going to show you how to get it, install it, use it in this video. So if you like the sound of that, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future uploads. It's free and you can unsubscribe anytime you want. And like the video too. And let's get to it. So you've loaded up FM22 and this is the start screen. To get to the in-game editor, you need to go down to more at the side here. Click on that and then click on downloads. This will open up the option for you to buy the in-game editor. You can see here, it's popped up with this window, in-game editor, and we have the option to buy now for £5.99 or whatever local currency you're playing in. So we hit buy now. It adds it to your cart and you can check out. This opens up a Steam window which you can add funds to your account so you can buy it. And it'll add the necessary funds needed. And then you can put in whatever details you are using to add the funds. I'll use my PayPal account and I'll continue. Tick the box that says agree and then purchase. That goes away and does its thing. You can see here that it says thank you for your purchase. Hit return to your transaction, then authorize. And now you have the purchase completed successfully. So we okay that. You can now see the in-game editor now says unlocked. And that now allows you to use the in-game editor when you're playing the game. So there's two ways you can set up your games. You can set up your games to allow the in-game editor or not allow it. So we'll start a new game, career options. We'll go down to advanced setup. So down here at the bottom, there is prevent use of the in-game editor. If you tick this box, you will not be able to use in-game editor in the save. So if you purchase the in-game editor and you don't see it available in your save, it might be because you had this option ticked. Another way you can check if you're allowed to use the in-game editor in your save is by coming up to the FM logo at the very top. Come down to game status. And if you scroll down at the top bit here, in here you'll see in-game editor allowed and in-game editor used. So I'm not allowed to use in-game editor in this save file for my Twitch one. I have loaded up my beta save with my United that I have just finished. And when I set this game up, I made sure I didn't tick that box to prevent the use of the in-game editor. You can now see at the very top, we have a pencil icon. So this pencil icon lets you get into the in-game editor and you can see all the options you're allowed to edit. This is contextual based on the screen that you're on. So currently I am on the home screen. It gives me these options, but if I was in Erling Haaland's page, for example, and I click this button, all the options you see are going to be related to the player. And the same thing if you're on the squad screen, all these are related to your squads. And if you're on the Premier League screen, you can still edit some data. You get to edit the competition details. You can see there's less options to edit. The in-game editor is great for changing anything that's already set up in the game. What you can't edit is structures of the game. So you can't then edit rules of a nation or a competition, for example. You're still bound by the structures of the game. I hope that makes sense. So let's take Raphael Varane. Let's try and edit this player. We'll come up to the top and we can start editing and this will allow you any of these fields that have just changed to change the values in them. So we can change the attributes. If you want to make him have 20 jumping reach, click inside jumping reach, type the value you want. And now he has 20 jumping reach. Once you're finished, come to the top, stop editing, say presto, that's done. One important thing to note when changing attributes is every player has a current ability and a potential ability. When you change attributes, you also need to change the current ability of a player. We have just up Varan's jumping reach. Therefore, his actual ability is higher now. So to make sure we have that correct, come up to the editor, then to edit player attribute details. And you can see that his current ability is 165. But after we have changed his jumping reach, it says the recommended current ability is 169. You want that to match. So we shall do that. And that should be happy. You can also change the potential ability of a player here. So we can change that to 200 the maximum potential value. You can change details about his personality here. Ambition, loyalty, pressure. You can also change his injury proneness, his height, his weight. You can change his fitness status, what positions he's comfortable playing and what's his preferred foot. You can add player traits. So if you want him to start playing short, simple passes, but you don't want to train him, you can just come in here and take that option. And he'll now have that trait. You can add what clubs he was trained at and what years he was at those clubs and what nations he was trained at. So if we want to make Varane a homegrown player for England, we can just add 
So in this option here, you can then select nation, and then we'll type England, select England, and we'll make him three years between 15 and 21. So we've actually made him a homegrown player, which we go to his coach report. We can now see that this player now counts towards the minimum of eight players trained in England. I'll go back to the current ability just now. You want to make sure that your current ability is at least what it says for the recommended current ability. The reason for this is your current ability is how good your player is. If you've added extra attributes, your player is now here. Over time, with training, these attributes, if you've not raised this to be the same level, these attributes will come down to the same level as your current ability. Therefore, he'll lose attribute points from any of the attributes he has. Now he's this level, he will come down if you don't raise the recommended current ability. I hope that makes sense. The other thing we can do, we could make this player like brilliant in everything. So 20 crossing, 20 dribbling, 20 heading, 20 marking. We're just, we're just going to make Varane a beast. And you can see here at the side, it actually gives you the recommended current ability here and his actual current ability, which you can change here as well. We change that to 200. 200 is the maximum you will see for a recommended current ability. And what we have done essentially is pushed this player past 200. So you'll only see 200, but he's actually past it in the ability. And you can see this by if we drop his acceleration from 20 to 19, his recommended current ability doesn't change. It still says 200. So we'll drop stamina, drop strength, jump and reach. So what we'll do is we'll make this 10. And now you can see his recommended current ability has dropped to 189. And every time you up this, so now at 12, his recommended ability has jumped up. So for instance, if you see a recommended current ability of 200 and you have the current ability set at 200, it's still possible that your player will decrease in attributes over a period of time. Because in reality, your player is better than 200 in ability. The way around that is to freeze the player. So once you have him set perfectly the way you want, you don't want him to ever change again, click on the edit button again and come down to freeze attributes. This means that he will not decrease in attribute levels at all. Even if you have his current ability above 200, he won't actually decrease. So this is how you can make a perfect player in the game. So the other options you get when you're editing a player are you move to my club, which is handy for other players. So we'll go do that now. So here's Joshua Kimmich. The scout rating says sign him at whatever price. So we can do that by going to the editor, move to my club, and you're met with the setup transfer. You can say the fee. I'm going to sign him theoretically for one pound. The percentage that the selling team will pay the wage, and I'll make that 100. I don't want to arrange a friendly. Percentage of next sale? Nope. Percentage of profit? Nope. But you can put these in, and you can put this up to 100. You get all the cost of next sale if you are moving a player from your club elsewhere. I'll untick that. And a buyback price. And if you OK this, Kimmich has now joined Man United for £1. So the next option is move to other club. Click on this. This time you'll get met with the club search. So we'll search for Bayern Munich. Select them. OK. And you're met up with the same screen where you can set up the transfer however you want. But we'll cancel that for now. And it's the same deal for the other two options where it says on loan. The exact same process, but this time it's on loan. We don't want to loan him to Bayern. There are a few more options where you can say be recalled, play against own team, monthly fee, future fees, percentage of wages that need to be paid. That's how you'd move him to another club on loan. You can remove any suspensions and bans that they have. You can remove any injuries, so that'll give them full fitness, which we can do here. You can move if he's unhappy. If any players are unhappy, you can remove all unhappiness. You can actually do this at a squad level too. You come here, the same options are here. And this will apply to every single player in your team. So currently, Skriniar and Pogba need a bit of rest. So we'll remove all injuries and they, that disappears for those two players. It's the same thing, remove all unhappiness and nobody is unhappy anymore. And you can also go one step further. You can change morale of all the players. So currently we have a couple of people that are superb and extremely good. But we can change all morale to perfect. And everybody now has a perfect morale. This is all done from the squad view and applies to everybody in this team. You can improve the team cohesion. You can maximize the tactical familiarity. And these other options here, you can show all staff in search and show all players. You can also allow registration and number changes anytime you want. You can also edit club details. 
which is where you get to finances. You can give yourself a lot more money here as well. You can edit the facilities of the club. So if you want to increase the capacity at the stadium, this is where you can do it. So we're going to give Old Trafford 100,000 people. An expansion capacity is the maximum that that stadium could be expanded to. So we'll make that 150 maximum value that is available. And you can see all the other facilities as well. If you scroll down, you can edit the club's rivals if you want. You can add players or remove players from the favorite personnel. You can add players to disliked or remove them. So let's remove Tevez. You can just come down here and remove. And you can also add any affiliated clubs. So what we'll do is we'll add. You can just come here the empty value. Select the club. We'll add in. We'll add in Barcelona. So is main club means you are the main club in this deal. Start date, end date. And then you have the affiliated types. You can have a sub team, feeder team good relations or one that makes a friendly. Then you have all the options. So players can move freely. Players can go on loan. So you can send players to Barcelona on loan. You can have first option to buy on Barcelona players. Financial help means you will pay Barcelona a yearly fee of whatever you set up here. Permanent deal means it's going to be a deal that lasts for a long time. Marketing relations means that your club will get an extra boost in marketing in that country. So in this case, it'll be Spain. Man United will get an extra boost in marketing for that fan base. Hopefully make a couple extra pounds here and there from it as well. Scouting knowledge shared will mean Barcelona will share their information with Man United. And there are a couple other options here as well. Uses all parent club facilities. That means that Barcelona will use Man United's facilities. Now we go to club info, affiliates, affiliate clubs. Barcelona's here and you can see everything that is in part of that deal. So I've jumped back to Erlen Haaland here and now we'll look at the player contract. We'll go to edit club contract and here you can edit the details of his current contract. So currently he's on £300,000 a week. That's too much for him. So you can just click in here and change that value. So he's now on £100,000 a week and you can see that that's changed up here. So we go back in and you can see here there are a bunch of other options that you can have a look at. If you want to give him a yearly wage rise, we could take that out even if it's already there. You can say whether the player will leave at the end of his contract or look to explore his options at the end of the contract. Any player bonuses he might have, any release clauses, or you could add in a release clause. Say if we wanted Erling Haaland to have a release clause, tick this box here, put in the value that you want, and he'll now have that release clause. Any player wage increases, any player contract extensions. So we tick this box here that says optional contract extension and one means we can extend his contract by an extra year if you wanted to. And other player clauses are ones for goals and assists and you can remove these or add them however you please. So we'll okay that. So if we look at his contract you can see £100,000 a week when it was 300 We have the optional year for extensions and he has that £1 million release clause. And then up here we can now trigger that extension clause as well. You can add a nationality to a player as well. So we come up to the editor again, come down here, add other nationality, click that and we can search the nation. So we'll make him we'll make him English. We OK that. And now if we go here into his information, you can see here other nationalities. He's now English. And say if you just want to rid of him, you could also terminate his contract. Click on the editor, come down to terminate contract. And he is now no longer at the club. I don't know why you would terminate Haaland's contract, but that's one way you could do it. So you can change some information about competitions, but it's very limited. If you want anything to do with leagues and stuff, it's better to use the pre-game editor to get all that sorted before you start the save. But if we do look at the Premier League, edit competition details, we can edit the name, the reputation, and the pitch sizes. That's really all you can edit. So looking at Cristiano Ronaldo here, and he's 37 years old, I want to change him to be a wonder kid again. And click on the edit, start editing, and we can change his age here. So keep his birthday the same and we'll just make him born in 2007. You can now see if we stop editing, he is 15 years old. So we've changed his age. But say if you want to clone Ronaldo, you can actually come up to the editor again and export the attribute template. So we export this. We'll export as Cristiano Ronaldo. We'll save that and OK that. So I've found Connor Stanley here and I want to make him the new Ronaldo. What I'll do is I'll come up here import attribute template, select Cristiano Ronaldo, load. You can now see that his attributes 
are exactly the same as what Ronaldo's were. This only changes the attributes of the player. So he's still Connor Stanley, he's still 20 years old, he still plays in the same positions, it's just his attributes, his personality have come across from Ronaldo. There we have it guys, there's a quick overview on how to use the in-game editor. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments and I will happily try to answer them as best as I can. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And cheerio!